Hello Internet! This is Rafael from Hardware Sugar and today we have a tough review ahead of us. Asus was kind enough to send us their P3 mouse pad, their M3 mouse, and their K3 gaming keyboard. However, we want to emphasize first and foremost that Hardware Sugar works for you and not for anyone else who sends us freebies or uh, review units. So let's get right into it with a quick unboxing. We test drove each of them for two weeks through serious FPS gaming, day-to-day -day emails, and replying to our customers on Facebook and Instagram. So let's kick it off with the Tough Gaming P3 mouse pad. The non-slip rubber base at the bottom of the pad makes sure that the only thing moving is your mouse and not the pad itself. The cloth on top is smooth and it breathes thus keeping my clammy hands from sweating. Some surfaces compel me to expel bodily fluids at the worst of times, and while this may sound minor, it can get irritating after prolonged gaming sessions. The mouse pad gets all the basics right. However, just like the K3 and M3, they have heavy branding on it all over, and I cannot recommend it for setups that have a more minimalist feel to it, like my NZXT white build going for myself. I would prefer my mouse pad to be pitch black or a snowy white. The Tough Gaming M3 mouse retails for 900 pesos. I want to emphasize that this mouse is below a thousand in cost and it gets so many things right. For the past two years, I use a Razer Death Adder Elite and most recently upgraded to a Corsair wireless harpoon mouse just two months ago. Both of them have their own problems. Razer mice, oh, while they feel good, I have been plagued with double clicking problems and worst of all, the felt grip peeled off. I had to use super glue to stick it back on every three months. The Corsair Harpoon, which I'll be doing a separate review for, suffers from it being too small for my hands. While it was fine for day-to-day -day tasks and StarCraft, the moment I began to use it for Call of Duty and Rainbow Six Siege, which requires a more intense claw grip, I found that my pinky just couldn't handle it as the harpoon is too small for my banana hands. The worst part is that the day after, the hand I used for my mouse was genuinely a little painful and cramping up. The M3 doesn't have any felt grips which peel off and there is enough space for my pinky to ride on the side without it being run over. It is not only comfortable for prolonged first person shooter games, but the two buttons which you can use to adjust your sensitivity on the fly is very handy for when you are switching from an assault rifle to a sniper rifle which requires extreme precision while aiming down sight. You might think this is basic, but it, it isn't. 
My Corsair Harpoon mouse, which costs more than double the price of the M3, only has one button for sensitivity. So that means I need to literally go through all the sensitivity modes in one direction. If I want to switch to sniper mode, I need to press the harpoon three or four times. And if I overpress it, then I need to do the whole cycle all over. Why can't Corsair didn't add a second button, which seems basic, is mind boggling. Note that I don't game every day and I change my mouse sensitivity all the time when I'm doing office work as well. Having two screens requires a lot of space to cover and sometimes you need to get to one place to another faster. As advertised, the 7000 DPI optical sensor makes aiming downsides in Rainbow Six Siege feel precise and genuinely made me feel as though the M3 was an extension of myself to which I could rely on when I needed to land the perfect hit. The two thumb buttons on the left are actually easier to press than the harpoon. The harpoon's thumb buttons were sculpted to look and feel cool, but result in them not being flat and easy to press. I find myself afraid when I need to use it for a melee attack or even as a back and forward button on Chrome. The M3's buttons may look dull, but they get the job done efficiently. The only RGB element of the M3 is on the logo, which isn't so bad. However, other gaming mice stick in RGB on the scroll wheel as well, but I'd like to emphasize that the M3 is just 900 pesos. The nearest Razer mouse closest to this is the Razer Death Adder Essential, and that retails for around 2,700 to 3,000 pesos, which is more than three times the cost of the M3, which again just comes at 900. Yes, there are more comfortable and cool looking mice, but nothing comes close to the value you get for this price point. I highly recommend this mouse, especially for parents who have several gamer kids in their household who they have to give a Christmas gift for. I guarantee that this mouse won't fail them. It may not have all the bells and whistles, but it covers all the basics and it can even compete on comfort and functionality on some mice which are twice the cost. It sucks, bro. Corsair Harpoon.